Hey, what's up? It's King K-Pop here again. Um, I'm going to do just a really brief, quick uh, review of uh, Mix and Match. I saw episode one. Uh, it looked like it improved a lot uh, greatly. Team B, excuse me. Team B have improved a lot greatly. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm a little pressed for time, so I'm going to make this one kind of quick, at least for episode one. Um, I got to say, uh, this show looks like it's going to be another interesting thing. I can't believe it's already been a year since we've had Who Is Next, and already we have another survival show from YG Entertainment. Uh, I think it's absolutely hilarious. Um, but anyway, uh, Team B uh, have improved. I thought, you know, with their 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 uh, their, their dancing, obviously, um, even their songs are, are have gotten better um, to me from what they from what they show showed on the on the first episode at least. It looks like their songs are getting better. Um YG uh introduced two of the new trainees um to Team B, which I found this scene uh very interesting, uh just because uh various reasons. Uh, a lot of people I read in the comments, a lot of people thought that BI was kind of rude uh to the two new um trainees. But when you kind of look at it from his perspective, he's kind of been with the other five members for, you know, some ye for a couple of years now. They've all kind of got to know each other a little bit better. And it's like when you bring in these two kids and you're going to bring in a third who could possibly replace one of, if not both, um, you know, of your current team members. And you're going to add one. Um, it's a big pill to swallow. Uh, he maybe could have handled things a little bit better, but um, I don't think B.I.'s reaction was rude. I think it's more of just being shocked. Uh, Bobby, I think Bobby is... I like Bobby. I, I think I said that before. Bobby is just a nice, really... He's a cool kid, but he's also a really nice kid as well. Um, I don't know if that's that American swag. I mean, I'm not saying all Americans are nice. We're not. Not all of us are. But, I mean, like he, he just has that that nice laid back home, you know, rearing goodness about him. I, I can't explain it, but I'll just say this. Bobby is a nice kid and his parents have done a good job uh, in, in raising a respectable young man. Um, nevertheless, uh, Bobby was kind of cool. Well, maybe not cool, but he, he put up, he had a better, uh, he was a little bit better about the situation or at least tried to put on a, a happy face about it. Uh, compared to some of the other members. Um, I did find it funny, though, that, you know, at first YG was kind of sitting there talking to them, like, hey, you guys are going to debut as Icon. And, you know, they're all smiling, like, oh, my God, I want to get ready to debut. And then all of a sudden he brings in these two new trainees, and they looked like, who the hell are you guys? Where the hell have you been? You're YG's trainees. Like, where have YG has been? Where is he hidden you to? Like, in a basement somewhere off in a basement? Where did you come from? I mean, I get that there's a separate building that YG has trainees train, and and where they don't enter YG Entertainment itself until after they've you know unless they're about to get ready to debut. But I just thought it was just funny how Team B's reaction were like, "Wait, you have more trainees that we don't know about." <laughs> I thought that was absolutely hilarious. Um, I think this is going to be an interesting show. Uh, some people, uh, I think some people may or may not know, uh, I think I left a comment on my last video, someone left a comment on my last video, YG stated that uh, whoever the remaining two members are by the end of this program that don't make the final cut, they will not be with YG Entertainment, period. Um, he says because he would have no plans for them, and uh, he would rather them, for them to be somewhere else rather than just sit there and rot in his company, where, uh, you know, he won't have any plans for them. And some people kind of find this harsh. I think it makes sense because, you know, YG right now uh, is pushing for, you know, some new talent, a new generation of stars. I'd probably say more so than what SM and JYP are doing. I mean, you got from Lehigh to, uh, from Lehigh to Undung Musician, now to Winner, now Icon. And then you also think about this girl group, his, his next girl group is going to come out with in 50 years. Um... There's a lot that he's focusing on. So by him focusing on the current new talent plus something else he's going to bring up, I don't see, you know, 
the 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 two final trainees who don't make the cut, I don't see a future uh, for them in YG anyway. So I think it's only fair for him to say, hey, you know what? I'd rather you guys leave my company and I get rid of you because by that time, I doubt if he would accept more trainees, uh, really, because YG doesn't accept that many trainees. Probably he has open auditions and accept trainees, I believe, once every four years or something like that, sometimes every three to four years. So I don't imagine YG accepting any more trainees for a while. Um, nonetheless... Uh, I thought uh, Mix and Match was an interesting, uh, good show. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to episode two, which actually airs uh, tonight. Um, you guys let me know what you think. Um, sorry for this being kind of quick, but like I said, I'm just kind of a little bit pressed for time. Um, I thought the show was great. I love YG Entertainment Survival shows. Uh, I think Team B, I think they're going to do all right. And also, too, uh, they, they, did, they did a little performance uh, towards the end of the of the show, I forgot the name of the song uh, that they performed, that they made themselves. I thought it was really nice, well done. Um, I, I kind of figured, I'm like, I wish you guys would have made that type of song when you competed on who is next. But that's neither here nor there. They're going to get their chance to debut. Uh, maybe a couple of tweaks here and there, but they're definitely going to get the chance to debut. Uh, still don't know, I mean, them having seven members, by the way, I think, I don't know, I'm just kind of tired of seven boy band numbers i'm just i mean we have a little bit too many of them already i mean from uh what bunta boys uh infinite um teen top uh got seven i'm just a little bit tired of the lucky number seven being the number for boy bands now i think why she should have just kept it at six hell maybe even dub it down to five i don't know um anyway you guys let me know what you think about mix and match uh comment uh, hit that like video and do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. This is the King of K signing off. Peace.